I want to talk a little bit about what happens when our kids do things um, when we're in public that are a little embarrassing and we find ourselves saying, I have no idea where they got that from. One of the things that I hear a lot from families is that kids sometimes pick up things from TV, from peers, from other relatives, and they'll start doing it or kind of displaying some of those behaviors or some of those words around others at the most inopportune moments. What I like to do to help families with that is not to reprimand the child right then and there, which may feel really like just jarring, not to be like, hey, stop, hey, don't do that, or we don't do that in our house, but to kind of just say to them, oh, that's new, um, where did you get that from? And then if your child feels like they don't want to tell you or your kid feels like they, you know, shake their head and they're like, I'm not going to say, then you can open up a space and you can say something like, well, you know, I've never heard you say that before. And it's not something that me or anyone in the home says. So do you mind maybe if we can talk a little bit about how you found out about that word or where you saw that behavior at? I know with curse words especially, kids tend to pick that up sometimes from us if we're being honest, but a lot more of the time it might be from some of the things that they're experiencing in their world, like their other friends, other adults who you might not have heard say that, but the kid might have heard say that, or they might have picked it up from some type of TV show or video game that they're playing. And again, the idea is not to demonize your child or make them feel bad for picking that up, but to kind of just be more curious. After you've been curious and you have tried to figure out what's going on and you have tried to figure out where they picked it up at, now your question probably is, now what? How do I stop them from doing the behavior if it keeps going? I have actually two tips for that. The first tip is to let your child know when it's appropriate to use it and when it's not appropriate to use it. With this tip, you really want to be able to understand where your kid picked it up from and why they feel the need to use it. For instance, if your child is learning curse words, if they've learned how to get people back in a certain way, or if they've started saying things or using terminology that you're not okay with. The second tip is to begin modeling for your child other ways that they can get their needs met. A lot of the times the behavior that a child picks up is because it actually fulfills a need for them. So again, cursing lets them let out their anger, their frustration in a way that some of the other words they learned in the past didn't do or wasn't able to work that way. Or if kids start to like hit or fight a little bit more, be a little bit more aggressive, again, they picked up that behavior because now it's, it's fulfilling a need that they have to kind of get justice or find fair treatment. So what I suggest is that you start to model for them how to get that need met in a more appropriate way. It might take some time because a lot of the times your kid might want to do that because it's a very instant gratification type behavior for them to get what they need. But really working with your child and having patience and saying, I know that cursing is sometimes a good way to get our frustrations out, but let's but let's try this other word or let's try expressing ourselves in a different way. Also, maybe even giving your child a space where they can do that behavior or say that word so that way it doesn't feel like like I can never do it.